Shanks is scared that he might be a ghost. He says people scream and run away from him. A ghost can pass through walls, Spindle Shanks. You're not a ghost. People scream and run away from you, Spindle Shanks, because you're an ugly spider with a squashed face. All right. I call this tale The Broken Down Cottage. There are good ghosts and bad ghosts. Just as there are good children and bad children. The difference is that bad ghosts are always bad, but bad children can sometimes get better. Augustus Filch was a bad child. He had run away from home. He'd slipped a chocolate biscuit into his pocket, stolen money from his mother's purse, and hopped on a bus to the country. Oh, yes, this is the life, he cried, but he didn't mean it. was open. Someone was expecting him. The flickering fire beckoned Augustus into the room. In the corner sat an empty rocking chair. Rocking. Augustus. Augustus spun round to where the voice had come from. But there was nobody there behind you. There was someone breathing on the back of his neck. Turn round, Augustus. I won't bite. I'm your friend. The boy's name was Arthur. He had run away from home too. I can do what I like here and nobody tells me off. There's only one problem. What's that? This cottage is haunted. A biscuit crumb quivered on Augustus's bottom lip. G -g 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 ghosts? Not just any old ghosts. Bad ghosts. They come in the dead of night with eye pumps and ear winklers and scratch and scrape by the bed and wail in your ear and slither and slide inside to fill your head with mischief. I think I'll go home now, said Augustus, and leave me here all by myself. You can't. Besides, my head's full of mischief and we could have some fun. And any boy who was wicked enough to run away from home was hardly going to refuse an offer like that. Why don't we phone 999 and tell the police there's a cat burglar in the house? Ooh, you are wicked. No sooner had they replaced the phone than three snarling police dogs leapt through the window. Good evening, sir. Are you a cat burglar? Well, I can't feel any cats. No, I don't think so. What about you, sir? I'm too young to be a burglar. I see. So, who called 999? Not me, me, me. Maybe it was the burglar. <laughs> Very funny. Next time, I'll lock you up for five years. Heel, Fang, heel! But the policeman's words fell on deaf ears. <laughs> Ambulance, please. It's really urgent. My friend's in shock. Ooh, ah, oh, ooh, help! 
quickly, please. Quick! I think he's seen a ghost. Woo! 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 <laughs> When they heard the ambulance screech to a halt outside, Augustus pulled his hair up straight and fell to the floor in a pretend dead faint. <laughs> Who's seen a ghost? He has. It was huge. It had enormous teeth, a beating stick and green toes. If Augustus didn't laugh soon, he would die. <laughs> Are you all right, son? No, I think I'm dying. <laughs> Quick, the big needle and the heart battery now. Oh, I'm awake, I'm all right. I don't need the big needle and the heart battery. Miraculously, Augustus was cured. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, boys, next time you're in trouble, you'll have to get better by yourselves. <laughs> Hello? Is that the fire brigade? <laughs> the fire over here don't you know how to knock come on laddie where's the fire it's over here come and warm your tootsies <laughs> augustus and arthur cried themselves to sleep in front of the roaring log fire When they woke in the morning, they were freezing. Let's phone someone else. Can't think of anyone, said Arthur, who'd gone cold on the idea. How about our parents? They could come and get us. My parents wouldn't come out here to rescue me. Mine would, if we told them that this cottage was haunted by a 12-headed dog with fangs like daggers and we were really, really scared. When Augustus's parents jumped down off the bus, they could smell the fire. What's happened? Two young muckabouts must have fallen asleep in front of the fire. Log probably rolled out onto the carpet. But they just phoned us, told us to come and get them. There's a 12-headed monster in there. That sounds like them all right. Augustus! Augustus! Hi, Mum. Am I glad to see you. We were terrified last night. There were hundreds of ghosts. Where? Here, said Augustus. Here, said Augustus's mother. What did they look like? A bit like us, said Augustus. Then he and Arthur walked out of the cottage through the solid stone wall. Which only goes to prove that crying ghost is more dangerous than crying wolf. Because a wolf can be stopped with a woodchopper's axe, but a ghost, well, with a ghost, you never know when it's there. Boom! <laughs>